NGOs uh, collaborating or deciding what to do, whether to collaborate with government policy or not. I was at an event called What Women Want, where um, I was... Lying in. Thank you, thank you. The, the drummer has sorted it out. Right, thank you. Or whoever, someone sorted it out. I was at an event last night. Oh, Sarah, maybe you want to say. You spoke. Okay, I was at an event. In fact, Sarah from Women of Colour in the Global Women's Strike was there as well. And Selma James from Global Women's Strike was talking about, um, uh, you know, pay equity. Anyway, interesting discussion, a whole set of panellists. And then there was a whole discussion uh, which opened up about... Uh, the NGOs were trying to decide whether they should uh, give services, including domestic violence advice and protection, to women who had no recourse to public funds. It was a bit, um, people were discussing it and saying that they were under pressure in domestic violence organizations, in shelter, and in other, in other places, uh, you know, to not give uh, advice and information to people, or women who had no recourse to public funds because it would affect their funding. But they didn't say what they thought of it. And in fact, when Sarah um, spoke from the audience, she said, look, we all have to refuse and say we will not be immigration. We are not, Im people are not immigration officers. They're meant to be helping people. They're not meant to be asking someone, if you've got no recourse to public funds, sorry, put the phone down, which is how people were talking. And it was like people weren't sure, but we have to all take a stand together. You know, there is, no, there, is no, there is no question, because if you don't stand up against these policies, you will be collaborating. That is the slippery road that you go down. And everyone, everyone has to look out for that, you know. And if funding is affected, if we do it all together, it will give so much more power against the government and the government trying to, you know, pay off people, basically. You know, we all know what we've been talking about and... We've got to refuse and work together and defend the people who are the most vulnerable. Yes. Because the people who are like talking from shelter, like head of shelter, they have to put themselves in the shoes of the women who are calling up, who have no money, who have no housing, who are facing violence on the street and rape, or who are having to live in a household where they're getting raped every day because it's better than being on the street and getting raped and attacked. You know, you have to start with the people with the least power in society, not be thinking about your job and your funding. You can fight against it, and you have to demand that of those organizations. Hello, really glad to be here. I'm, um, 